what did it do for you guys to get those short fields and, and the pick six to, to take some of the pressure off having to, to produce the tough yards early? Oh, it's huge. And defense played huge all game. And those plays early uh, were, were unbelievable. You know, you look at the pressure on the QB and then, um, you know, David making a play on the ball. And then obviously, you know, Kevin reading, reading the pattern and, and getting underneath that out cut was huge. So uh, hats off to them. They, they played a heck of a game. It was fun watching them make plays and, uh, you know, proud of the way they played. Bobby and Aaron have to come in on the, on the offensive line, obviously. I guess, what did you see from them? What what did that change for you guys? And did you not know until right before the game that you it would be Bobby and not Taylor? Yeah, I didn't know exactly what was going to pan out up there. But uh, proud of those guys, the way they stepped in for us. Obviously, knew coming in that uh, they had some pretty good players on the other side. And uh, proud of the way that those guys battled and made plays for us. You guys obviously lost Derek last week. As Joe mentioned, play with that two of your starting offensive linemen. What to say about this team that it just kind of keeps on moving no matter what kind of adversity it, it hits? We're a resilient group. We believe in each other. Uh, it's a next man up mentality. We know it's not always going to be pretty, but uh, we believe in each other. We're going to fight and we're going to try to find a way to win. And, um, you know, today we did that. Defense came up huge for us, made those huge plays in the first half. Offense did enough. We, we made some plays when it counted there at the end. We were able to, to put that drive together and go, you know, get a touchdown when, uh, when if we give the ball back to them, it could have gone the other way. So proud of the way our guys battled. Uh, hats off to the defense. They played their tails off all day. And, um, you know, we found a way to win. Kind of, kind of picking up on that, I feel like you guys have maybe as good of an understanding as there can be about the shape of a game, like yardage and a lot of other numbers in this game didn't look pretty at all. But along the way, your lack of panic and stuff, you guys have really gotten uncanny at, at that kind of thing. Yeah, you don't play for stats. You, you play for wins. You know, obviously, sometimes they correlate together, but uh, – in other situations, in other games, it's just a matter of finding a way to win. And today, as a team, you know, we did that. Defense, like we just mentioned, some of the plays they made were huge. They played tough the whole day. And offensively, you know, we kind of answered the bell there at the end when we needed to make a play. What were you kind of saying on the interception? What was I saying? Yeah, what were you seeing? Oh, seeing. Um, yeah, AJ was going on the outside. Uh, right at the last second, somebody uh, hand went across my face, and I tried to adjust my arm angle so it didn't get batted, and I uh, left it inside there. What were you saying? <laughs> what was I saying? <laughs> we'll leave that on the field. You know, road wins are tough to come by in this league, but to come here and beat what many consider the Super Bowl one of the big contenders and all you've gone through this week, and how, how big a deal is this for your club? That was a good win for us, no doubt about it. Uh, proud of our guys, the way we, we came out and battled. Obviously, a, a good team on the other side on the road, and um, you know, guys stepped up and made plays. But at the end of the day, it's, it's just one more game. Uh, we just have to find a way to, to keep winning one game at a time. But I think that um, hopefully we can build on it, and um, I'm proud of the guys and the way they battled. You took some, uh, some pretty vicious hits there, maybe in the fourth quarter when the game seemed kind of you know, out of reach for them. Do you feel they were trying to rough you up? How did you take those hits? I mean, they're playing physical. Uh, they have a, a good pass rush, and, and they, they play physical. Uh, I don't think it was per personal or anything. At that point, uh, if they get the ball back, then you know they're going to have a chance to, to possibly um, you know, make it a game again. So um, you know, they're playing, playing good, tough defense, and um, you know, they uh, committed those fouls and, and allowed us to extend the drives. Ryan, what, what about this team, where you guys are at right now, what's different about this team in comparison to years past? You guys have obviously been good playoff caliber team. I don't want to compare it to years past, but I'm proud of our guys and the way we battle. You know, we have a lot of heart, a lot of belief in one another, and uh, a lot of will to win. You know, no matter what what's going on, what adversity we face, it's kind of next man up mentality, and it's been that way for, for since I've been here. But uh, I'm proud of our guys and the way we battle, and just want to go out and find a way to win each and every week. How was that experience having on that past for you personally? Then? How, what, what's different for you mentally? And how was that experience kind of shaped you? Oh, it's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun to, to go out uh, with a tough group of guys that, that um, believe in each other and, and will want to find a way to win. You know, it may not always be the prettiest win. Um, it may not always be smooth sailing. But, you know, when things don't go well, this team doesn't blink. You know, we believe in each other. We're going to keep fighting no matter what happens. 
And um, you know, I'm proud to be a team like a part of a team like that.